everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Open Parties and Claims for Minecraft Java 1.21.5. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But just go to your search bar and search up mod width, like so. You want to enter, and then you'll find modwinth.com. So just click on modwinth, and from there you'll be on the modwinth homepage. And now all you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you have to go down to mods. Now all you want to do is go on search mods, and you want to search up open parties and claims. And here you'll find open parties and claims here. Just click on the mod name, and this will bring you to the open parties and claims homepage on modwinth. So here, all you have to do is go to versions, and from there, you want to go to game versions, and you want to choose 1.21.5. And from there, we will find some updates here, so here you'll find 1.21.5 for Fabric, and we will be using Fabric for today's tutorial, so just go ahead and click the green download button. And now, all you want to do is simply click the version name, and once you do this, you'll find some dependencies. Forge config API port and fabric API. So the first thing you want to do here is just go and forge config API port. And from there, all you want to do is go to versions. From there, you want to go to game versions and you want to choose 1.21.5. And here, as we got fabric for open parties and claims, just make sure it is for fabric and 1.21.5. So just click the green download button. And from there, all you have to do is go back to the previous tab, like so. And this is the tab here with open parties and claims, the versions, and the dependencies. So just click on Fabric API now. Now go to versions, go to game versions, and choose 1.21.5. And from there, just click one for 1.21.5 Fabric and click the green download button. And now you have everything. So all you have to do here, you just want to go ahead and go to a new tab. From there, all you want to do is go to your search bar and you want to search up Fabric Minecraft. Here you'll find FabricMC.net, just click on Fabric here. And this will bring you to the Fabric homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to the blue download button. And now you want to go to the blue download for Windows button. And you also have Fabric Installer now. So now all you want to do is just go ahead and close your web browser. And now you want to go ahead and go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. And now all you want to do is double click the fabric installer. Now all you want to do is go to the Minecraft version, make sure it is 1.21.5. And if it is, click install, OK, and close. And now just go to the Minecraft launcher. And with the Minecraft launcher, we will be able to add the three mods to the mods folder. So here we have fabric loader here. And all you want to do is go to the Installations tab here on the top. Then you want to go ahead and hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Now all you want to do is find Mods, like so, and double click it. And now all you want to do is go to Downloads. You want to select the three mods and copy them. And you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder, which is Mods, and click Paste. Basically, what we've done here, we copy pasted Fabric API, Forge Config API, and Open Python Claims in the DOM Minecraft Mods folder. And once you have this, just go to the Minecraft Launcher, make sure you go to Play, then here, also make sure you have Fabric Loader here selected, and click Play. And now all we have to do is wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay, so once you have Minecraft here, all you want to do is go to a single player world or a server, this mod is mainly meant to be used on server, and a server which actually has open buys and claims on it, so a mod server. But here I'll just show you this working on a survival world for now. So basically, here we have Minecraft, and to use open buys and claims you can do multiple things. You can either go ahead and use commands such as slash open buys and claims here. Here we have some different settings that we can go ahead and change. And we also have the UI menu, which is this one here, using the little quotation mark key. And here we'll see that we have that 
some settings that we can go ahead and change. So you can claim, and now we just claimed a block. Just this one block here, capital block actually, a chunk 49 here to here. We just claimed it. And now if we go ahead and go to our key here, we can just go ahead and claim more and more land. So we have this chunk here and this chunk, and it says Lindrian's claim. So yeah, that's why you're meant to have, but you're meant to use this in a server. And you can also add a minimap like Exilus minimap for example, and also have the uh, claim show up on the minimap. So yeah, that is how we get open Python claims for Minecraft Java 1.21.5. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.